Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for tuning in Cooking with Ash. Today's recipe is going to be a very delicious recipe and it is my father-in-law fruitcake recipe. So the story behind this recipe is when I first got married, we went to visit my father-in-law and the nice kind man he was, he cooked up a feast for us and he made this um, fruitcake. And when I tasted it, I instantly knew I wanted the recipe. So I, I told him, I'm like, you have to teach me how to make this cake and he was like okay you have to come another time i'm not gonna tell you how to do it i am going to show you and i'm like this is even better so i went i made time and i went and he was the first person that bought me my first cake mixer what an amazing gift it was and he showed me how he made made his um fruit cake and um since then this has become my family recipe for fruitcake. I make it all holidays. Everyone that tastes the fruitcake always enjoy it. And um, I owe this recipe to him. Sadly, he's passed on now, but I know every time I make this recipe, I make him proud. So big shout out to my father-in-law. Um, may his soul rest in peace. And I know this recipe is um, very um, dear and near to my heart because my husband love a fruitcake recipe and a, a fruitcake i mean not the recipe a fruitcake and every time i make this recipe i know it brings back awesome memory of um, his parents the days um, when they used to celebrate the holidays and bake up um, they were great bakers and they would bake up a feast for them so let's get into the ingredients guys here i have um, some all-purpose flour i have here some salt i am using some mixed essence I have some almond essence, sugar, um, the fruit, baking powder, and in this bowl, I have fresh nutmeg that I grated, and I have here some fresh cinnamon and some fresh cloves. I have here um, room temperature butter and room temperature egg, and I'm using here some um, orange zest, guys. I am having a, a memory freeze right now. Um, what is Guyanese fruitcake? Guyanese fruit cake, in my opinion, would be if a black cake and a sponge cake had a kit, this is it, guys. It's not too dense um, like the, the black cake, and it's um, not as fluffy as the um, sponge cake, but it has like that good fluff and texture to it still, guys. So um, the trick to this is to add the fruits, but do not add too much fruits because then it's going to weigh the cake down and it's going to make it dense. So it's just the, the right amount of fruit you have to add to it to get that light fluffiness to the cake, plus have that um, taste of the fruit throughout it and that hint of wine throughout the cake. So let's get into the mixing part of it, guys. Step to this, we I went ahead and um, break the egg and now we're gonna start um, beat these eggs until um, it has like that froth on top or like that fluffiness to it. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to beat this egg until I see that consistency then I'm gonna remove it from here and then we're gonna start the process of beating our sugar and our butter and then we're gonna finish off the rest of the cake so we're gonna let it beat, beat nice in here and I'm upping the speed to four right now the mixer is on four and I am using as you can see my stand mixer for this if you don't have a stand mixer you can use a hand mixer and if you don't have a hand mixer you can go old school and um, do it the old school way because nothing is wrong with that that was the best way back in the days to get your cake um, nice and beautiful um, we used to use a bowl and a spoon and you go right ahead and use that we didn't have all these fancy equipments then and we used to get like beautiful cakes so So I'm gonna let this egg whip up and beat up to the consistency I'm looking for. I am going to come back and show you what we're looking okay, for. Okay guys, this is what we're looking for in our egg. Do you see that volume and that froth that it um, that our egg um, achieve? 
so this is what we're looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this into another container look at that guys look how rich this looks and that is what we're looking for so i'm just gonna get everything out we whip some nice ear into this egg so i want to show you guys this this is what we're looking for that nice froth on top of the egg i'm gonna go back and attach the bowl back to this and i'm gonna attach the paddle And now we're going to start adding our sugar. If the sugar amount is not um, good enough for you guys, you can always add more. In goes our room temperature butter. And when we're baking, I would advise have your sugar, um, your butter and your egg room temperature. It makes a difference in the cake, guys. Now we're going to start with the, the process of um, creaming the butter and sugar together. And what we're looking for here, we're looking for the sugar and butter to combine nicely together and like start to um, look fluffy and nice. So I'm going to continue this process um, while I'm while this is happening i would constantly stop the mixer and go in there with a spatula and scrape the sides down because i want everything to incorporate well so make sure you guys are doing that step okay guys so my butter and my sugar achieved that nice fluff that we're looking for so i am going to gradually start adding our egg to this and let it mix in And I'm letting it work in good before I add another um, set of eggs. I'm gonna keep on adding the eggs guys until all my egg is finished and um, in the meantime um, in between I would stop my mixer and scrape the side stung so everything is well incorporated see you in the next this step. is what our egg sugar and butter is looking like guys it mixed in well and it's so fluffy and nice so to this I am going to go ahead and add our mixed essence our almond X essence so you can start get mixed in into there and in goes our spices. So our nutmeg, our cinnamon, our ground clove. And now I'm going to add our zest. And now we're going to incorporate our fruits into this. Guys, right next to the um, the amount of fruit, um, I will add the link to the um, recipe that I use to prepare my fruit. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to scrape everything down the sides, mix everything in so everything is mixed in well. And this process is important, guys. Make sure throughout the mixing process you're doing this you're just um, stopping your mixer scraping your sides down and make sure everything is mixed in well Now to this, I'm going to start gradually add our flour.
I am just going to pop this on guys because I do not want a mess. I'm gradually adding the flour, let it mix in. guys I'm going to stop my mixer and I'm going to scrape the sides down make sure everything is incorporated well in here there's a bits of flour the side it didn't get mixed in we want all that to get mixed in really well popping on this make sure everything is up and now guys, the final step is the baking powder. I'm going to add that in. And I'm going to give this a final mix. I'm just scraping the sides again, guys. See how important this step is? Please make sure you're doing it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's me hitting the camera, giving you guys a shake. Make sure you're not asleep and you're up. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do the final mix here, guys. And that's it. We do not want to um, over mix our batter. Um, as soon as everything is incorporated, we just give it a final mix and off we go. So I'm going to turn this off. I am going to come back with our pan and I'm going to show you the final step. Guys, I forgot one ingredient, the salt. So I just added here, as you can see, and I'm just going to mix that in quickly. That's it. Guys, here I have um, a spring foam pan. Um, it's a 10 inch I'm using. I went ahead and greased it with some butter. Um, depending on the pan you're using, um, make sure you grease it well. It's either you spray it with some cooking spray and you flour it or you put some butter and you flour it. You have to know your baking utensils and pan, how they bake if they um, if they're non-stick and stuff like that. But I always grease my pan and um, if I'm using different sort of pans, I usually flour it too. But this one here, it releases pretty easy. So I never really had an issue with it sticking. So I'm just going to just grease it with the butter and that's it. So I'm adding our batter to the pan. Guys, this is the perfect recipe for a small family. If you do not want to bake like a ton of um, fruit cake, this is the perfect recipe for like a family of um, four, I would say. You can always um, double the recipe or triple the recipe for more. So I'm just spreading this out, guys. Make sure it's evenly spread out. So um, another trick I do for this too, guys, I just put a um, towel under the pan and I tap it lightly so it likes release any air. 
and it helps the batter even out too so there you have it guys i am going to pop this into a oven preheating right now 325 degrees fahrenheit i'm gonna bake this off um 45 minutes to 50 it all depends on the cake size pan you use if you're using a smaller pan you might want to bake it off for about an hour but um, make sure you check your cake guys and um, if you stick a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean your cake is ready and it's done so i'm gonna go ahead and bake this off and i'm gonna see you guys back with my delicious recipe okay guys here you have it this is what our finished fruit cake look like of course you see i went ahead and did a nice a big slice for you guys this bake um 325 for exactly 50 minutes okay guys and that baking time and um, depends on the size of pan you use remember i did say i used a 10 inch um spring foam pan for this but look let's take a minute guys and appreciate this cake look how beautiful this is look how beautiful this cake is it's like the perfect baby of the fruit cake and the sponge cake it's spongy guys but it still have depths of texture and the fruit is evenly distributed throughout the cake as you can see and it's so moist and soft guys so of course i am going to dip into this so you guys can see look at this guys and i'm tasting simply delicious mm -mm 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 look at this guys look at this i hope you guys enjoy this recipe please share it with your friends and family i hope this makes it on your um christmas table because it's a delightful treat for your family please like and subscribe for more amazing videos from my kitchen to yours wishing everyone a happy holidays love you guys